Right, what we're just going to do now is just um, sort of clean up, I suppose, on the, the first screen. Um, some things I guess I just forgot to mention. So um, when you test your app, you'll probably see that when you click on these inputs, it's got like a, a hint, some hint text there. Um, so if you go over here, yeah, yours would, yours would say hint for text box one, which obviously you don't want it to say that. So you can put a hint there, but it's, a, it's not really relevant for what we want. It's kind of obvious you have to put in a number. So um, I'm going to delete those uh, from there, delete those hints. Unless you want to put a hint, then go for it. I guess it is for young children, so maybe they might do. They might need something. Um, also, you know, you might test it. And to be honest, these sizes that I've used, um, I just did a quick test, and it, it looks very small on the screen. So, you know, you might want to crank up the size and things like that. But again, you know, all up to you and, and how it actually looks and how the design is. Okay, like, you know, you can you can do different things with the buttons, like change into like rounded buttons and whatever you want to do. Um, what I just want to also add uh, is another button. So, you know, on the, this screen, you know, we open the app, we can do some calculations. I guess it's for kind of practicing. Um, it's also kind of practice for us to, to, to understand how the this software is working. But then we want a button that's going to take you to um, the quiz, like the maths quiz that we're going to create, which is going to be on another screen. So what we need to do is just add another screen. I'm just going to call mine screen two. You can rename your screens a bit better than me. Um, so we've got these two screens now. Screen two, just going to uh, get rid of the title. Back to screen one. And so, yeah, so I'm just going to add another horizontal arrangement, uh, make the width fill the parent like I did before, make the height 50, so that's all the same as it is with the others. Uh, add in another button, uh, which again needs to be in its own horizontal arrangement. Um, oh, this is when this system gets a bit annoying when things go like that. How do I actually get down there? It's going to change it to tablet size. Um, have to work that one out. Don't worry. For now, we'll ignore that. So, width, fill parent, and um, align to the center. Okay, so the text for that button, let's put you back to phone size, is going to be. Um, something like take the quiz or something. Okay, so when they're ready to take the quiz, they can push that button. And all we need to do, this button just needs to essentially take us to the next screen. All right, um, so I'm going to go to the blocks. And so I need my, oh, actually, I'm not doing very well today, am I? Back here. I need to rename this because it's going to have some code associated to it. So start quiz button will be fine. It's blocks again. Start quiz button. When it's clicked, what do we want it to do? We want it to, if we go to control, there should be one here to open another screen. There we go. Open another screen. Screen name. And then we just need to plug in something to tell it what that screen is. So we can just get a blank text. And we want that to open screen two or whatever it is that you've called your screen. Okay. And then we just got another button there, which will take us along to the next one. Okay. So again, just make sure that you're happy with your first screen. You're happy with things like sizes of text and um, your horizontal arrangements so that you are familiar with all those sizes so that when you come to do your other screens, uh, you can keep it all, you know, sort of the same and all kind of matching. All right. So, yeah, that's all. We'll do screen two in the next video.